You are about to witness the future in video game entertainment. The TurboGrafx-16 Entertainment Super System. 16-bit power, arcade quality graphics, and an unbeatable selection of titles. We'll show you what's available now and sneak previews of what's coming. Turbo Graphic 16, the next generation video game system with the performance and power to blow you away. Turbo Graphic 16, turbo for speed. Graphics for unbelievable graphics with 10 times the colors of most other video games. And 16 for the high energy 16 bit graphics processor that makes huge characters with unreal detail like you've never seen before. Turbo Graphics 16. It's more than a game, it's non stop action and awesome adventure. And there's an arsenal of Turbo Graphics 16 accessories to make sure the fun doesn't end, like TurboTap, so that on some games, you and up to four friends can get in on the action. Turbo Stick so you can control the speed of the game. Turbo Booster, that works with your home stereo system to put out unbelievable sound and vicious pictures. And the ultimate in radical technology, Turbo Graphics CD. It uses the immense memory of CD software to bring you super intense game playing action with nearly limitless levels of challenge and excitement. Like in Fighting Street, a kung fu style arcade game with more than just a few kicks. And since TurboGrafx CD is a real audio CD player, you can slip in any one of the sizzling games or any standard audio CD disc and get rocked by mind-blowing CD stereo sound. And to keep your TurboGrafx system steaming, by Christmas there will be tons of turbo chip game cards to choose from. Each one of them packs more action and punch onto every inch of the screen. Join Keith Courage as he battles alien invaders and restores peace to the Earth. <laughs> Rescue your girlfriend from the thugs who stalk the streets of Manhattan in the arcade hit Vigilante. Step up to the plate in the incredibly real baseball simulation World Class Baseball. Take off on an eight-stage sprint from Paris to Dakar in Victory Run, the road racing challenge of a lifetime. <laughs> Alien Crush brings you all the sights, sounds, and action of an arcade pinball game. Crush the aliens and rack up a record-setting score. In Legendary Axe, you must penetrate the evil place and free the beautiful maiden flare. Take hold of the sacred axe sting and let your courage shine. Navigate your Nectarian cruiser against the evil Bido Empire. Only the most skilled marksmen will survive the arcade hit, R-Type. You're at the helm of Radical Firepower, a gunhead laser gunship, and in the fight of your life with the ultimate outer space shoot 'em up blazing lasers. Delve deep in the caverns of Odessia in Dungeon Explorer. Your quest, the aura stone of everlasting life. Your risk, a sudden underworld death. And there's more turbocharged action with Power Golf, Dragon Spirit, World Court Tennis, Galaga 90, Fantasy Zone, Moto Rotor, and it's all made by NEC, a worldwide leader in electronics. Get turbocharged with Turbo Graphics 16. Sophisticated graphics, sizzling speed, and sensational sound. The entertainment super system for higher energy video uh, whoa, games. Right. Now here's a sneak preview of even more great arcade quality hits. Available in early 1990 for your TurboGrafx-16 system. Bonk's Adventure. Bonk your way through quicksand, swamps, and wild prehistoric creatures in the soon-to-be action hit, Bonk's Adventure.
crater maze. Watch for monsters, but don't lose your way in the fun-filled action game, Crater Maze. Deep Blue, the menacing underwater world of Deep Blue, will put your best shooting skills to the test. Final Lap Twin, step on the gas in this arcade racing hit, Final Lap Twin. JJ and Jeff, you're in for lots of laughs in this wacky action-packed world of JJ and Jeff. Military madness. Only you can stop the evil Axis army in this unique game of military strategy. Military madness. Newtopia. The fantastic world of Newtopia is a must for all role-playing fans. Ordine. The fate of the universe is in your hands in this exciting space shooter, Ordine. Pac-Land. Pac-Man strikes again in this action-packed arcade favorite, Pac-Land. Space Harrier. Restore peace to Dragonland in the worldwide arcade sensation, Space Harrier. Taking it to the hoop. Basketball comes alive on your video screen as you go for two in taking it to the hoop. We now invite you to sit back and enjoy gameplay from the vast selection of titles that are currently available for PC Engine, the Japanese version of the TurboGrafx-16 system. PC Engine is the number one 16-bit graphics video game system in Japan, where there are dozens and dozens of titles currently available. We have made a commitment that commercial to brings back only the best of these so many memories the of games States I never got to play. Ultimate in video <laughs> gaming. Let us know oh, it's what still you going. Think. Write us at NEC Technologies Inc. Home Entertainment Division. 1255 Michael Drive, Wooddale, Illinois, 60191. Now for some PC engine action from Japan. Hey Shayan, how's it going? Taking a stroll down memory lane with these old sort of graphics commercials. Like remembering why I thought about getting one but never got one. <laughs> There's a lot of games I need to go back and check out. やつの目的と大木は倒れ火の柱その後には屍しか残らんと言われておる全能の王に手渡す妻の私ました
村のリリア。よくそこまで本を集めたものだ。それは褒めてやろう。我々魔物は魔法から生まれたい。貴様らの魔法など私の足元にも及ばぬ。TurboGrafx-16, the next generation video game system, is available at authorized TurboGrafx-16 toy stores and at electronic stores where quality NEC products are sold. But that shit, now it's here with us. <laughs> Unmuting myself at the wrong time. Did it earlier today, and now I did it again. Well, hello, hello, everybody. What is it? Hey, how's it going? We we're back for another episode, of the composite <laughs> channel. So yeah, uh, how you guys doing? I mean, I saw most of you guys earlier. Be able to catch me streaming earlier today. He's saying, and Cosmic are here. Yeah, what were you playing? You were playing Shinobi, was it 3 or 4? Shinobi 3. Did they make a 4, or did, it, or did I just make that up? They did, but it was on the uh, Saturn. I think Shinobi Legions. Good stuff. So, was that a Game Gear game, or was it a Genesis one? Which one? The one I was playing? The one you were, yeah, the yeah one that's you were a Genesis playing. game. Okay. Yeah, someone was talking about the Game Gear uh, Shinobi game, so I had to give those a shot. Hey, Graves here. How you doing, Grave? Hey, Graves, what's going on? You guys excited for another night of games played semi well? Well, Garrett plays them very well, but. Well, well some of them, some of them I do. Just some. <laughs> Just some. Yeah, Cosmic, you were doing a uh, co op stream earlier. I didn't catch it because I wake up late, but. <laughs> uh, I hope you had a good stream, Cosmic. You and uh, Foxy, I think, did co-op. And saying, tell me, you, you oh yeah, you posted a uh, a game that looked a lot like Hagane. I keep forgetting the name of it. Hagane, what's that? It's a uh, one of it's like a ninja game for the Super Nintendo. It was like that one <laughs> game that cost like a thousand dollars. Oh gosh! Oh, it's like a, it's a pretty good uh, ninja, kind of like Shinobi. What I was playing earlier, but okay. I guess there's like someone's making a game that looks a lot like Kagane. Happy first episode! It's first episode of the year, so that's exciting. We have some games lined up. That means something. Yeah, uh, started a little later because I got set up and stuff. So, go ahead and. Start with the box arts now. I have yeah, yours pulled up. I have yours pulled up real quick. So uh, give give them a little insight on it, but where I show the image. Sure. Yeah. So this one is for the Last Ninja, uh, the Commodore sixty four box art back in nineteen eighty seven. Uh, I didn't have the sixty four. I think I played the Commodore sixty four at school. I played like Donald Duck's. Um, I don't know. He like sold watermelons or something. I forget the video game, but so you can never just like bring in games from outside to play at school. So I never got to play last Ninja until it was on, on NES with its really awkward port. Um, an awful game. Yeah, it's a pretty, <laughs> but before it was an awful Nintendo port, it was actually a respectable Commodore 64 game that a lot of people enjoyed. Uh, Cause it's really weird. You have like all these weapons and stuff that you get to use. But I remember as a kid seeing the iconic, this iconic box art in both the uh, the print ads as well as like in stores, computer stores and stuff like that. And it was just like totally, uh, yeah, it's like iconic. It's just like a dude with a sock over his face. Kind of looks like the Shinobi Angry. cover. We've been talking about Shinobi. And yeah. uh, it had a similar cover with the, the face. Like it's just like his face hidden behind the shadows. He's, hey. it, it turns out he's actually not wearing a mask. He's just like hiding behind a glory hole at like a 7 Eleven in Eureka, California. It's not even. 
Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you brought up the NES version. I think that's Last Ninja 2 was what the one that they ported, but they called it Last Ninja because it wasn't something like that. I just games, remember it having like anyway. really rigid controls and like everything feeling like l really sluggish and laggy. I remember my fingers being, it was one of those games where you played it and your fingers were sore because you just kept over pressing all the buttons because you felt like nothing was reacting correctly. Like it was eating your input. Yeah, totally. So it's, it's uh, not a fun rental memory. How you doing, Finn? Um, but I mean, when you see a, when you see a box art like that, you're going to rent it. Like, there's nothing that's going to stop you from yeah, seeing what, like, wow. what's behind that cover. Yeah. Now, the one I picked is... I'm sorry. I got to say that this one is even more badass than the one you got. It, Why do you have to measure like that? That's gotta, kind of weird. <laughs> hold on. Let me pull it up. Stand and buy this one. Older for it. All right, where is it? I know where it is. <laughs> You're really building this one up. If it doesn't surpass the last ninja, I don't know how you're gonna morally come back to this. Are right, you ready for it? I picked yeah. ghouls and ghosts on the uh, the Genesis. That's kind of uneven, so there we go. That works. Yeah, that's a pretty that's a pretty iconic one. Yeah, but do you think it's better than Last Ninja? I don't know. I mean, the that's lightning weird. and the the one eye one, monster one in the fire. background. Because this one is awesome because of context. It's like the golden suit. It's like it's like telling you there's some new shit coming down the pipe. And the lightning and you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Sword. It was like this isn't just going to be – it was making it pretty clear that it wasn't going to be just a port, you know, that they're kind of putting some more effort into it. Uh, yeah, it's like, hey, this is like the the Genesis cool version of the game. Right. So it really set its, itself apart from the design of the box art to what we were used to seeing in terms of the arcade game and the cabinet art. So, right. Yeah, I remember seeing that. It was really cool. I just really like all the, like, there's decent, like, uh, things going on. You have the gold armor, you have the, then, like, front and center, then you have the monster in the back, you got the lightning everywhere in the, the dark setting. All, like, the, uh, backgrounds in there. There's a lot going on in it. It's just, they all combine really well. Hey, Slippy. How you doing? Uh, Unfortunately, I couldn't find any more. Like, I couldn't find information on the artist or anything on the uh, the previous on on uh, was it the Last Ninja? I couldn't find any artist info on that. A lot of just freelancer work that nobody ever took credit for. It seems. But yeah, they probably kept themselves hidden. Be like the mystery, well, I mean, just like the ninja on the cover, maybe. I imagine they're, they're, those artists working on video game box art was like the equivalent of a film director making porno. It was like just a dirty secret they didn't want their literary career to know about or anything. I mean, if you want to put it that way. No, not that it's porno, but it was beneath them. Like, yeah. Because these are like, when you look at the portfolios, the, the few that I have been able to track down, their portfolios are pretty expansive. Um, you know, in terms of doing novels, sci-fi work, stuff like that. And then they were kind of picking up these video game jobs on the side. They didn't really hang their hat on them that well. So a lot of these artists either passed away and never took advantage of them, or some of them I found, you know, later in life, they're proud of their, their video yeah. game artwork, obviously, because the people profile really of games has changed drastically. really renowned then. Like, people really exactly. respect them, yeah. So, yeah, those were some, uh, some box starts for you. And uh, we can move on to our first game of the night. Let's do it. Hold on a minute. Uh, I think you're already hearing it. Hopefully it's... You might already hear it, but... We're doing... Isn't it popping up? I pop up mine as well. Ooh, I should probably mute the... Uh, yeah, we're doing Ninja Spirit! <laughs> As a as a nice uh, start. 
more specifically the Turbo Graphics 16 version, Which not is, the arcade one. And that's why we put the uh, the Turbo Graphics promotional video at the front. The the exciting games. This game wasn't actually in the promo video, I don't think. Oh really? Unless maybe it was. Anybody else notice it or? I don't know. We had Vigilante. Vigilant. Vigilante. Why does everyone pronounce that word weird, weird now? And it's messing with my head. Uh, Vigilante <laughs> was on it, um, and I know those two games were IRM games that came out from the same uh, same year, eighty eight. Was R type in it too? That R type was. R type was in it. It was in the promo, yeah. Yeah, R type was another one. They did a couple. They did a lot of uh, games for the Turbo Graphics, and this was one of them. And yeah, we'll, uh, now, we'll start playing and talking about it. So it seems like this was built off the, um, the arcade code. Because when you look at the credits, it's all like unknown who made it. Kind of a weird mystery when you go to Moby Games and check it out. Um, the credits for this one are credited to Henry Clark and Stephen Howey, which doesn't make sense because it's a Japanese game. And that's, um, maybe that's the cover art? Design? I'm thinking they're the localization guys. I'm thinking they ported this to the various consoles here stateside. Um mm. So they were like the translators, kind of like the that maybe they implemented implemented the translated text, um, but like the artists and programmers and designers, they're all kind of hidden behind IREM's kind of weird credit history, which is unfortunate. Yeah, I want to know uh, who made this uh, game because this game is not bad, and we'll go into what we liked or what we didn't like about it. Oh, I list missed the power up guy. Uh, the oh, uh, well, started, you started playing. Oh shit, you're already starting. <laughs> I, I thought you said started. let's start. <laughs> now it's, it's like good. let's talk. You're like let's talk. I'll start up. So I'm. We're doing it on PC engine mode. Is that the mode you're playing on? Oh, I did the first one. Should I do it on PC engine mode? No, I'll. Well, it doesn't matter because. Yeah, I might as well do it on different ones just for fun. PC, see what PC engine is. mode basically is. Well, they're the same thing except arcade mode is one hit deaths and PC one engine hit, mode right? is. Kind of one hit deaths. I don't I don't know how some of the uh, deaths work in this game. But sometimes I felt like I died even though I had full health. Through, like, yeah, collision it's a damage. little inconsistent on the collisions, yeah. But this is Ninja Spirit. Um, basically, the, the main idea is you're this ninja guy. I, I don't remember what the... Did they ever explain the story? Uh, I couldn't really find a story. I think the the ninja has a really na weird name. What is it? It's uh, his name is Moonlight. <laughs> Mo Moonlight. <laughs> Moonlight. Uh, which, yeah. So maybe it's Moonrider. Moonrider. Like, uh, that that game that uh, San was talking about. I don't know if that's any better. <laughs> I don't even know if that's oh. the like, name of the character in the game, but uh, ninjas. Yeah, he's like a dog, or he like he. I guess he's some dog that turns into a ninja or something like that, or his spirit. Maybe that's why it's called Ninja Spirit. I don't know. But you're, you're this ninja guy, slashing around, kind of like Shinobi, except not fighting terrorists, like in Shinobi. I use the bombs. And you have... Four different weapons you can use, and you can upgrade them. You can get these clones, like in Ninja Gaiden 2. Yeah, oh, the clones are so good in this game. I want to say Ninja Gaiden 2 took inspiration from this, because that was after. Yeah, definitely. And the, the clones, I remember, like, they're so interesting, because in most of these games, you just think of it in terms of um, dodging stuff, right? Hitting and dodging, hitting and dodging. The clones really make it apparent that you're doing zone control. That you're locking down regions of the screen, right? And controlling space, which is what you're doing in in you know shooters, even fighting games. That's really what you're actually doing is you're dominating regions of the screen to narrow down their decision making. So this is one of the first games that re really made me think strategically about games in terms of like space coverage. Because when you stop moving, the clones stop, and then you can get an entire like shield barrier going. Yeah, like and they this. can float in the air and stuff. Yeah, and you're pretty much invincible if you lock the right direction down. And you need to know, like, 
what weapon works best for each situation. Right. Like maybe the hook thing works well for this part, but I might need to use the sword on the next one. Then you can get the shield, which I don't know if this makes you invincible. I think it just does damage around and works as sort of a shield. Yeah, it is actually, uh, the animation is the collision for the shield. So if, if you go up and it's down and you hit something, you will get hit. So it's pretty specific. It's nice to have it, though, for sure. Yeah, definitely. You just don't act like you're Mario with the star of your eyes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this guy I hate. This guy's a hassle. Where is he? There he is. I thought the bosses were kind of unique. Sure. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, before we talk about the game, we should probably talk about some other stuff, like the graphics. Which I actually do like. For turbo graphics, they're pretty impressive. Like, did nice. you, did you get a chance to look at the arcade version? No, I didn't actually, and I think there's a Game so, Boy version of it too. I kind of oh yeah, that's right. See. So it's really in oh god, I'm gonna get killed. The uh, it's a weirdly interesting uh, art style that you see in Vigilante. Also, I'm assuming it's the same artist because it's the same art style. And it's basically a no outline pastel kind of uh, art style. It's really cool. He, he did it really well. Whoever the artist is, he did it really well in uh, Vigilante. It's one of my favorite looking games. And then um, you really see the carryover in the arcade version of New Spirit. I think when they were doing ports, they really didn't know that it was a specifically an art style. So they kind of contrasted up a bit more than it should be. Um, but it still looks great. It has a unique look that's all its own. Yeah, I think the art style is really nice. Like, it has sort of a uh, darker, horror-ish no, kind of theme. Dark elf-looking weirdo. Almost looks like aliens, kind of. So I thought that was nice. Uh, now, the, the sounds in this game, what do you think of the sounds? I know that Turbo Graphics cool. doesn't have the best sound chip in all, but I think it's pretty decent. Yeah, I mean, it's their chip wasn't as good as the Sega chip for Genesis, but it's better than Nintendo. It's better. So if you're coming off of those machines, the 8-bit machines, this stuff's blowing your mind. It's like you have an arcade in your living room. Right, yeah. Oh, I died. Contextually speaking. Um, so this game, uh, we never could have get a Turbo Graphics because we already got the Nintendo. My mom's like, that's all. You're not getting a bunch of different systems. Oh man, I hate that guy. Um, so we had a friend who had like a detached father, like who didn't really care about him, and, <laughs> and that uh, kid would always get a new system every year. So he had the Turbo Graphics. So we'd go to his house to play the games. Um, yeah, but he wasn't really into video games, so it was like he went to his house. He's like, "Let's go play basketball." It's like, "Man, you have Turbo Graphics. Let's go play that." It's like, "No, let's go play." It. And it was like we never really got to play it that much, which is unfortunate. It's almost kind of weird that he even has one then. He doesn't use it. It was just like his dad's at the toy store. Let me drop five hundo to show my kid that I love him. Kind of move. That makes sense. Parents just tried to spoil their kid. Yeah, I think his dad was a doctor. So he just wasn't around that much. Well, that's probably why he had it then. Because... They were right, exactly. expensive, right? <laughs> yeah, I believe so. Probably like 50% more expensive than a Nintendo, probably. To the water pit. That's probably why a lot of people didn't play this, because it had a, uh, it was like a Turbo game. Graphics exclusive, at least console-wise it was, mm -hmm. in the US, because I think Game Boy only had it in Japan. Let's see if I can kill this guy pretty quickly. That was close. There we go. This is where the game yeah, really gets guy. challenging. The water stick guys. Get a turbo growing up, but hard crap games. I did that bonk. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, bonk came a little later, I think. I'm gonna pause it to rechat. Can you yeah, tell I'm not speedrunning? What level are you on? I don't. Green. Uh, the water boy level. Oh, I just when passed you, you that. Just... Yeah, I just. Passed yeah, I know. That. I know. That's what comment. <laughs> <laughs> game gamed with the uh, Donabon locally at you know, for... the, uh, working out my calves. 
stomping through the mud. And other day in the country. Yeah, so Ben in the chat, he lives in Australia, and he's been talking about a lot of spiders there. So Dan Sand calls it, because <laughs> he always sees spiders there, because there's a ton of spiders in Australia, and Sand now calls it death country. Man, I got enough spiders here in uh, the Midwest. Those uh, brown recluse spiders, the worst. Let's see what else was in here? You had... oh, this yeah, ninja so... boss is awesome. He looks like a professional ninja. Like somebody hires him to be a ninja. Like he has is part of a ninja sports team. Like his outfit is so like he went to ninja school. And tight. Oh shit! I fucked up the jump. Oh my god. Uh, why didn't why didn't he jump left? So San makes up a good point because he had a he always talks about how he has a Neo Geo and he had a Neo Geo or he didn't have one but he's like it's like an arcade in your living room. And yeah, just cool. I mean you're literally sticking the <laughs> the arcade ROM set like into your car <laughs> into the machine. Damn it! So this level is where it really starts to get tough. This level's probably the hardest in the game I, out of all of them, in my opinion. Which one? Level four. With these hook ninjas. Oh man. Oh, I didn't have issues with that one. That was easy. It was um this level powered down, getting stuck in the middle. That's this is the one that bugs me. Game has infinite continues to... though, so you can keep going through it. Yeah, but it's the same dilemma over and over, which is like trying to get through these stick ninjas with two power ups. It's the same trying to dig yourself out of nonsense. Ah, oh, goddamn. So one thing I did like about this game actually was the weapons. If you press select, you can actually change your weapon. Yeah, I didn't realize it until like the third to second to last level <laughs> when I was playing it. I was like, oh, that's fun. So now I'm just addicted to the sword for everything. Uh, which yeah, is the, fine. the sword is one of the better weapons in the game because I was kind of iffy with them. I mainly liked the bombs because of how fast they were and how much they did damage. Oh yeah. But I don't like how they... you plant them instead of when you're crouching, you plant them like that instead of instead of shooting it down or whatever. Yeah. So that definitely was something that I had to get used to. And the sword of course was really nice because it blocks projectiles and stuff. Don't get crushed. There we go. We'll go fight the, the best boss, Block Boss. Like in Batman. Oh man, I did it again. Uh, why is he not... Is my controller stuck? What is going on? I keep yeah, jumping dog. vertically instead of up and over. Boss was really weird. I felt like it was out of my control to really... This boss isn't even hard. Get this boss down. Which boss are you referring to? I have the, to uh, the block boss on stage four. Oh yeah, that one was easy. He was like... He's easy and sometimes he... he's really... He's like impossible to win against. Just... I randomly. figured that'd be the case. If the sequence is jacked up, yeah. Take damage here. Oh my god. And I... So... This I didn't really publicly this announce this, but I did do the achievements for this game. And I had to do every single... He was... Do every single stage. Beat every stage with full health, and this one was really tough on that falling ceiling part to not get hit because there's bombs being thrown at you, and you have to hurry. You can't stop and go get power up. So that one's definitely a tougher stage here. Now we're in the vertical, and this stage is kind of weird because randomly you'll just see these like geysers pop out like that. Yeah, the little gas, whatever things. At least your health does refill in between stages, from what I could tell. I'm gonna die here. Wish Come I had on. a second to run. The jumping, jump. and you really start to see how weird the jumping is in this game once you get to this section. You mean the floatiness of it, or the. It just 
the floatiness and how awkward it is to control because they're so floaty, but you don't have too much mobility. I mean, We're like changing mid direction in midair? Or? Yeah. Like, look at that. Yeah, I'm all, I'm, I literally fell all the way to the bottom. This dude exploded into... He was like an explosive gas inside or something. It was weird. This is why this stage is a little tough, is from... You start to learn the quirks with the jumping here. This is really the only platforming level in the entire game, too. Alright, there we go. So this boss really was super easy. This kite. You just throw bombs at him and he's dead. And this game is ridiculously short. We're already on the final level, or at least I am. You are? <laughs> there's only six stages in this game, because this was... Actually, no, I think there's seven. Maybe? I can't remember. I can't remember... I think there's seven, actually. Ooh, and I remember this section. This part was not fun. Because there's these swordsmen that place you, but then there's also Kunai is coming in. I tend to leave bits alone unless you've been in them for a while. I really need this power for the sword. Um, what? Jump to the ceiling. I'm right now I'm fumbling the jumps, like the half jumps and the jumps to the ceiling. Oh, oh I died. Yeah, these swordsmen are a lot tougher than I remember them being. I think I used dynamites on that level. Once you get powered up. So I was talking about the weapons earlier, and how I really liked the bomb, but... Well, I think they're cool, the, uh... The hook, and the... Um... Ninja stars, I didn't find them as useful. Yeah. I didn't see people doing much with those, either, online. I jumped. Timing, I can't get it right. These kite guys were very annoying. I already died to them. The glitch graphics right there. this game was that hard or because i don't know if you beat it i think you said you did end up going through all the way yeah i beat it did you find it um, to be like a really super hard it can be game? hard if you get no, like a weird rhythm and timing with it but once you dial it in it it gets pretty fluid like the timing that you learn in the early levels carries on later it's not like you have to start from scratch on every level right um, which is you good. keep all your power ups. You keep all your lives and everything. But like Help the enemies' build. attack patterns and stuff, it all carries the same logic. Right. As long as you know kind of what what you're doing for the most part, then you can probably get through most of the game without much right. issue. Because the first time I played this, I pretty much went through all of the game on a, on my first playthrough. Yep. They're just burning lives, because they give you infinite continues, so I think it's pretty forgiving in that aspect. Oh, t definitely. As long as you put in the time, your brain will figure out the, the timing. <laughs> okay, there is seven stages, so I'm on the final level. Just like a weird alien cave stage with guys. Man, what the heck was that? <laughs> I landed on the platform, and then he slides one pixel right and just dies on a bamboo shoot. Nonsense. 
first time that happened. As long as I don't get hit. Alright, here it is. Uh, let me see if I can do this part. Uh, the drop? Yeah. This part is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that. This was the only part of the game that I really thought was out of my control. Yeah, it's at first it takes you a while to realize that it's a rigid thing. Um, Very and that, it's, hmm? that it's a pattern that you have to learn. Once you figure that out, you're like, oh, okay. Because at first it feels random. It doesn't feel... Um, right, because there's a very specific thing that I just did to get through it. Now I got to maintain that. Ninjas come out of nowhere and hit you. And now we're at the final boss. That should be it. Sending a fighters and well, those dang spiders. So yeah, this uh, this game overall, I thought was very fun. It was quite challenging in the later levels, and overall, it's just a really solid game. To where if someone said, "Hey, I don't know anything about the turbo graphics." This would be one I'd be like, oh, if you're new to the system, this is one of the games that I think is worth picking up. Definitely. And it's really, like, they're really not doing anything new, but they really build off of these little uh, design principles that they kind of establish at the beginning with the, the shadows, the spirits. And it's kind of cool, right, the way they build their entire identity yeah. of the game off of that. Yeah, how it's like, almost like he's like, dead but then he's brought back finding other people <laughs> right. of the dead from what well, I it's can kind tell. of like a, the online experience in uh what is it the this from software games uh what's it called um, dead, is it dead souls dead, dead souls or dark souls dark souls sorry yeah so it's like dark souls where you see all the failed attempts of the, of the other players in front of you as ghosts yeah, actually, that makes sense, yeah. Except this game isn't ridiculously bullshit hard. Yeah. <laughs> like Dark Souls <laughs> is. Yo. Let's go, sad guys. So I'll switch to, uh, I'll switch to your audio, because I'm pretty much okay. done here. I feel so bad for killing these guys. Because they're just stuck on that sail. Hold on. There we go. Oh, I didn't even pull up the logo. Oh. There we go. Oh, nope. That's the, that's my logo. Fuck, I, I am not used to OBS. There we go. Yeah, we're playing Ninja Spirit. I, I, don't, I don't know what game we were playing before. And I think in the arcade version, you can see the... Um... The ship that this is attached, like this is supposed to be attached to a ship. I don't think it's a kite. I could be wrong, but uh... looks kind of like a uh, mystical ninja with the kite. Except it's, right. <laughs> I just keep blowing them up. Like who thought up that attack strategy? Let's tie a bunch of ninjas. Oh, this one I got to do. There we go. This gets nuts. Yeah, there's a lot of like kites and kite ninjas and swordsmen's and the kunai's flying everywhere and they're golden, which makes me think of Shinobi 3 with that well, damn the, final this, boss. This looks easy, like you just uh, kill everything with grenades. 
but you actually have to dodge the incoming raining ninja stars that come in. Because those, uh, oh my god, he should have died. That wasn't a thing. <laughs> How did you stop that? At least there's checkpoints. So now, like, starting this from nothing is such... You're yeah. just lobbing, lobbing kebabs at dudes. It's not <laughs> easy. Almost like a shoot 'em up. Yeah. It, and it's funny because it, each weapon does drastically change the... Like, if you want a replayability, beating the game on each weapon and type would do that. It it's, changes the gameplay drastically. Oh my god, that guy's going to kill me. Every time. Do you have, like, an overall thoughts ready for this game? I'm sharing them. They're happening. I'm living, They're happening living as we speak. <laughs> They're live, just like the show. Oh I'll, I'll put a rating in for it if you want to give it a rating already. I'd give it a, f a 4. 4.5. Give, 4. 4. give it a 4.5. 4. 4. 4.5? Yeah. Alright. Let me put in some other information about this. Alright, you're gonna give it a four and a half? Oh my god. Yeah. Alright. I'm actually gonna give it a, uh... I'll give it a four and a half as well. I think it's a really, really solid game. One that's a lot of fun to, to play, and... One that I would definitely play again. But it's also a really short game, so it doesn't take too much time to get through. Yeah, and ultimately, I think it just comes down from the source code, having arcade roots. Um, and it's kind of interesting, right? Like it, because of the multiple weapons and the depth of the combat, it does give it a little more life than a typical like port, which is right, interesting. Because yeah. this whole era is full of you know arcade games that don't quite make sense as console games, but they still exist. Yeah, for sure. Man, you already got the drop route done? Oh, I, I already got the whole game done. Yeah, I know. I was just like, oh, not even there yet. So I'll help you. I'll help you kind of go through the uh, drop unless you already know how to do it. Uh, I'll forget, need your help, and then remember while I'm doing it. All These right, guys are I, I, I'm looking at chat, and I just came into seeing stuff like nuns. Talk about nuns. Uh, I don't. I don't know how to comment on that. I don't, I don't have much context. But I'll ask some of you guys if you guys played this and enjoyed this game. I did that trick where you get the spawn stuck. Yeah, you can. It, they just respawn where you are, so you can just keep doing that over and over again. She's the yeah. boss. It looks like it's sometimes when you, when you try to do it. Sometimes though, you get like where they zigzag back and forth, and you end up lining the guy up to slash you as you come in. It gets really gnarly. All right, you're in the final level. I don't remember how to. Oh yeah, it's gas level. The, the gas geyser cave. A geyser, because that would be water, so... Maybe just explosive gas. Jump. There we go. Oh, that's nice. Here we go. Doing the drop. Alright, you got two. this. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's like, it's two to the left. 
two guys to the left, and then it's uh, mid, like two thirds to the left, middle, and then left third. Too far right. Uh, yeah, it's very specific. I know, it's so it's, gross. It's a checkpoint, so, and then you get the final boss also is a checkpoint. I have to remember to switch to his thing first. I think I drift left. Oh my gosh. I didn't get that, like, swivel pivot momentum going. You just drop straight down. Yeah, the mo air mobility here is a little weird. There we go. Oh. I'll get it, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we'll give him some hype, give him some hype, and I think he'll, he'll make it. <laughs> I can't get him to go... Do I go under that first guy, or... I thought I had it. There he goes. Two, three, two thirds stay, left. Yeah, yeah. Alright, as long as you... Maybe go a little... Okay, you should be yeah. good. Should be good. Just throw some dirt in their eye. <laughs> they go a little, yeah. Throw some dirt in your eye. I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. Alright, you made it. He's at the final boss. Let's give him hype. Spam those bombs. Die, ninja. Go, ninja. Go, ninja. Go. Ding, we did it. Yep. yep. I love it when like ninja stuff gets like crazy demonic at the end for no explanation or reason. It's always like the best. It's like turns out you weren't fighting Japanese people. It was a Satan all the time. Turns out he was the dog. <laughs> turns out he was the dog, and he's actually the dog from Shadow Dancer, Shinobi. Thanks, Grave. I appreciate the hype. Oh shit, bits? Oh, thank you, Grave. I don't know who those bits go to. They're bits. <laughs> bits. <laughs> They're for the hype. Always a good time when you're around to BS with. I gave you a little GG in the chat, too. Made sure to. <laughs> I think you got it. Oh. Don't worry. You gotta, I always gotta have my jokes. I don't want to come off as boring. <laughs> okay, I'm playing a game here. I'm just a guy playing a game. How's it going? You know, they just don't even speak. They barely do anything. You gotta so keep what do you those think of the viewers the, engaged. Hmm? What do you think of the design? Do you think it was pretty cohesive throughout? Yeah, Does it, feel it like seemed like it was beautiful? all. It never seemed like it was from a different game. It all seemed pretty consistent. Yeah, I agree. I think the two things that are a little out of tone are the the night elf tree climbing boss with the fans, whatever the hell that guy was. Like that was kind of weird. Um, oh, Finn gave some bits too. Nice. And then uh, the end boss is like, yeah, crazy demonic. Which again, I love that it's like out of left field. But um, yeah, it almost kind of looks like Strider. Mm-hmm. Like how that guy they're looks. almost like installation boss installation piece bosses, you know, where like the level design is really the boss. Hey then oh no, Cosmic. Cosmic, you keep your viewers engaged. I know you, Cosmic. <laughs> now Cosmic, if you if you haven't checked out Cosmic, I'm gonna give a shout out to uh, him in, in the chat here. Because he'll have like the funniest clips. <laughs> Uh, I, well, I don't even know if I did that right. Did I? Is there a shout command? No, probably wasn't. Oh, I tried, but they ain't gave him a shout out. So mine didn't post the uh, link. I don't think. So yeah, check out Cosmic. He's got some funny clips on his uh, Twitch page. Hey, Scott, Daddy, what's going on? Uh, hey, what's yeah. Up, Scott? Uh, yeah, so, that was great. We missed it. We just, we just beat Ninja Spirit. Yeah, we both beat the game this time. And we enjoyed it, and overall, I think this was a great game to start the year off. We got 11 more games to go for the year. 
Yeah, I remember just from like a viewing perspective, if there was any game that I saw that made me think about buying a Turbo, Turbo Graphics 16, it was definitely this game. It was just like so. Reminded me of Legend of Cage, if you ever played that one on arcade. Uh, they have a Nintendo version. Legend of Kage, somewhere. yeah. I think this yeah, is much Kage. better than Legend of Kage, though. Like, way better. Oh, yeah. It's, I it's, can see it's the resemblance, like, though. It kind of fulfills, like, the promise of, of Legend of Kage, right? Like, the want to be a ninja jumping around, killing everything. Yeah. Because Kage, you're doing that, and all of a sudden, like, a knife out of nowhere that you didn't see kills you, and you're like, ugh. Or, you, like, the, the whole game is stage five of this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's true. Just climbing everywhere, and it sucks, but... Cool. It's a cool idea, though. And I think this game did a much better job of making you... It's not like Shinobi, where you, it really makes you feel like a ninja, but it really makes you, like, feel powerful, I guess. Do you know if there's any retro games that have, like, stolen kind of these core mechanics as foundation? Um, I know, I'm sure some of these mechanics have always existed as power-ups in other games, but, like, I'm trying to think if there's any game that's taken... that's tried to be, like, a spiritual successor and kind of run with mechanics... Not that I know of. It, it would seem ripe for, like, a retro game developer, right? Yeah, probably, but... Because, like, imagine this kind of gameplay and character, and then, like, a Simon's 2... Simon's Quest 2 world, right? Like, a side-scroll world that's just open world. Be oh, are you weird. talking, like, an indie developer? Maybe. Maybe yeah. an indie developer made a game like this. Because I'd love to say, see an indie developer, like, take this platform and just kind of run with it and build it out. Right. something bigger so yeah that was ninja spirit i hope you guys enjoyed that but we're not done yet we're gonna we have one other game up for tonight i'm gonna hit the audio here for that i am going to hide it so you guys can try and guess what our next game is me Hopefully I don't dip switch on it. Oh yeah. Because <laughs> we always try and play an arcade game for our challenge. Point noises, so uh let me start up the server, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna actually mute the sound so I don't <laughs> Menu. All right, same same password. Not that same password as well. All right. Uh, switch over to the one player. Yeah, we're gonna be playing Golden Axe for our uh, game here. I didn't mean it to come up so soon, but I was gonna announce it. And yeah, that's what we're playing right now for a challenge. There. This was your idea, right? Uh, yeah, we were looking for just like old school, like classic arcade. Because what we did, Simpsons already. What were the other ones that we did? We did uh, Snow Brothers. Yeah, and then we did our first one was my blank, my blanking, uh, Splatterhouse. Splatterhouse. <laughs> Splatterhouse. Splatterhouse was, right. was the first one. Yeah, and we had so much fun on the co-op one. I was like, oh, let's see how many more we can stack up. So, yeah, who's your go-to on this? Is it? T Tyrus. I'm gonna be playing as Tyrus. I because I'm so used Tyrus. to the Genesis version. The uh, the backwards attack is faster. Uh, so is on the Genesis version. You sure Here, it's not Ty frames. You sure it's not Tyrese? Tyrese? No. Then it would be spelled differently. You sure? Uh, I, I think Tyrese is spelling it wrong. Tyrese. But... <laughs> okay. Oh, Cosmic S Metal Slug. And guess the Knights of the Round. That's it. That's Ooh, that's not that's not that far off. Yeah, Knights of the Round is sick. I gotta go back and play that one. So, did you join in or? Yeah, I'm in. Okay. All right. So we are gonna start now. Hopefully, the dip switch settings aren't. And I can. It could be good. So, are you in? Oh, okay. Could be. Giving me the dip switches now for oh. some reason. I don't know what happened. Should be able to join in. 
Go for more Splatterhouse. So I'm in. What was our, yeah, uh, not, our, our challenge? It's not letting me this? in. It's not letting you in. What? No, it's not letting me in. Into the Nets Play server? Or? Nope. Well, no, I'm in, but it, it's not letting me control things. It's doing the dip switch thing to me. Let me back out, try to join again. Oh, why is this game so problematic? Yeah, we were having some issues trying to get this to load because we had it with... There's issues where if I try and join back in, the dip switch will activate. So that's kind of a problem. And somehow it looks like that issue migrated to me. What is going on? Oh, it looks like you're controlling the same character. Oh, that's weird. So you're not in. Oh, we're we're on the same input. <laughs> right, let, me, let me try restart. Yeah. <laughs> we're on the same input. What the hell is that all about? We're, I guess we're one and the same, everyone. All right, let me. It's a conflicted character. We're gonna dim the screen, try and work this out. I think I might know why. For some reason the game has a default input of the start button and the dip switch button. Uh, bound together. Oh, okay. Hold on. Maybe try joining in now. Okay, let me bounce out. And I'll pay attention to what port it puts me on when I come in. I'll leave it on the character select right now. Okay. It says I'm on control port one. Which you're in, right? Joined as player. What the hell is that all about? All right. Yeah. I'm me... gonna. Let me try restarting the game and the server. Sorry for the technical difficulties. This has just not been wanting to work with us. Yeah, we. I thought we dialed Another it run. in. Oh, you've been during lurking. testing. Yeah, no problem, Mew. How you doing? I saw you earlier, uh, Mew. Okay, let me pull up the server. Hey Mew, how's it going? Server's back up. See if, can, see if it works now. Alright. That's still putting me on port one. Is it, or...? Yeah. No, no, you joined us, player two. Oh, good. Alright. Should be good now. There we yeah. go. Okay, well, now we're good. So what was the, the challenge for this? Let's do uh, boss kills. So after each boss kill, we'll determine, we'll probably argue about who got the last hit, <laughs> unless it was obvious. Yeah. And then just, just had, mark it down somewhere. So whoever killed the most bosses wins. Uh, right. Fuck, Hydrate's not supposed to be on. That's, that's for... Uh... That's for Foxy and his invisible cup, but you know. Hold on, just, getting a pin. Just none of this matters because these aren't bosses. They can kill me. I just, don't care. Just, just assume that we're drinking stuff. Gulp, gulp. Yeah. I have a cup I'm of drinking... water anyway. I just took a sip like two seconds ago. I'm I'm drinking the last like millimeter of gold schlager. Oh. No. Oh, uh, Scott Daddy has a point. You gotta follow James Pond, the underwater agent. He says to always keep your. Uh, Always keep yourself hydrated. Why does him being Asian have anything to do with anything? He's the it seems like an excessive detail that you're mentioning. Well, he's the underwater agent. Oh, what? James. Are you Pond. saying a Are you saying Asian or agent? A agent. He's the he's oh. the underwater agent. James Pond. Are, do agents usually don't go underwater? No. Like hydrophobic. It's because he's hydrophobic a play agent. He's a playoff on James Bond. We all understand that, Garrett. What I'm trying oh. to do is ascertain the extent of how that engages with the real world as we know it. Maybe, maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe he's maybe he's not an agent. Maybe he's a free agent for birthday parties or for and saving Christmas. Buzz and quinceañeras and man, the screams in this game are so good. Oh wow! Came from somebody's dungeon. That's one. Nope. 
Oh, he got me. <laughs> it seems like this back attack doesn't even work. That's two. Trying to two bosses. How many do I have? I mean, None. <laughs> uh oh, I better step up. I haven't even been paying attention here. I've just been I know. getting shit. I was just assaulting children in hey, pajamas. Trying to pay apparently. attention in a beat em up is hard. I was like, these games aren't games that you're supposed to be paying attention. You're supposed to be just playing in the background and just randomly doing shit. Parents yelling at you. None of us have lost a credit, though, so that's good. Oh, this level's so rad. I just do a downward stab. Yeah, you do the super jump and then downward stab. Be careful with it, though. It doesn't extend as far as you think it does, so a lot of times you land... I landed like, on you. Uh, or you'll land right in front of a guy, and then he just chops you in the face. Like that. <laughs> I like to use my psychic powers here to walk them off the ledge when my teammate isn't killing me. Remember as a kid, I was like, I want to live on a turtle. Or a dragon that spits fire. And this dude is stepping on people's heads. Dragon. Dragon. You're trying to hit me. Uh -oh. Over here, you little tiny person. See, I'm being respectful. Oh, my God. Full magic. Help. Oh. We all get a dragon. Get off my dragon. I'm skeleton. Ah, uh, you seem to have gotten them. And make sure to join the Scanline Discord so you know what's going on. Here we go again, pink dragons. Was there even a boss in that stage? No, there wasn't. Catch. Oh. <laughs> You're playing dirty, huh? You were doing it already, man. <laughs> Here, I'll give you a dragon. Oh. Look how these guys run. They got places to be. Got that hustle. Dragon legs. Oh, this is a little like pointy jumps ballet like, jumps. It jumps like Arnold in the the Terminator 2 game. The uh, the the console one. Why are you over collecting potions, man? You're just hurting me. Think about me. Oh, I gotta get the the magic. My character is. You're maxed up. out. <laughs> You're maxed Goodbye. out on the magic. Oh, <laughs> All right, it must might put you in. Yeah, it's fine. All right, you're at three already. Oh, I got the kill there? I'm evaluating the replay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Get rid of the dragon. Oh, there you go, I got it. Wait, that no. wasn't the boss. It wasn't the boss, that doesn't count. Those are rebosses or whatever. But you know like, who is being... the boss? Uh. That guy from Money Python? Maybe, but no. Yeah, it is. All 
I mean, you should just ride that thing. I don't know why it's just like... Oh, I got one! There, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so it's 3-1 right now. Get them beef steaks. Running off of my gyro meat. That guy's my best, my favorite character model. The the bald guy with the Fu Manchu. I don't know why, but his whole look is together. Remember we we would steal potions when we were mad at each other in the game as to who isn't holding up their end. <laughs> That's the the tax. <laughs> I've had so many mixed shots that used it. Can't remember them any longer. Oh, a bird with dandruff. What was that to? Those aching eyes. So I was reading about the arcade board for this one. So this was made on. So they made the Shinobi. They made Shinobi on the Sega System 16A board. And then this is the 16B board. Um. So it's kind of like on the same engine, but slowly progressing it forward. As like Alter Beast, probably maybe another one. Right, exactly. A lot of those early, uh, the first gen Sega Genesis games were built on the same board. Oh, I'm getting jumped. And then the the next number up. After the 16B was the Sega System 18, and now it's Moonwalker. Oh yeah. So this game that one was graphically... pretty limited, right? It had uh -huh. I think it had stereo. Yeah. But if you remember, the arcade version of Moonwalker was like the three-quarter overview, like uh, kind of overhead view. It wasn't like the side scroller like the Genesis. Yeah, it was a uh, isometric game. Right. So this Instead engine of... sits between Shinobi and Moonwalker, basically. Like technology wise. Which by the way is our uh Viewers Roundtable game is uh Moonwalker on the Master System. Which is just Oh, it's a good it's, game too, it's, man. It's just the Genesis version, but it's like missing all the stuff that made Moonwalker cool. <laughs> like the Well good, they're, they're totally like, they're drastically different games. The good it's, music it's and uh and bubbles. Bubbles ain't in the Master System version from what I could tell. I don't know if this dude is a boss. He might. He might be. The black dude? Yeah. We can cons it, well if he's the last death, we can obviously it'll be the boss. He feels like a boss. Got him. <laughs> maybe he isn't actually. Maybe yeah, maybe he's not after that. After I collected the kill. Well, we don't know. We'll see. If the stage ends after it, then maybe he will count it. Is it missing Pesci? Uh, it kind of looks like him. Uh, maybe, we can only ca maybe we should only count giant people. Do we count it as a boss? I don't... Ask the audience. What do they think? Oh, do you guys think we should count it? Oh, I love those punt kicks. Oh. You know how many times a little kid will, like... Just won't shut up or start scream. Not my own kid, but in public. And I imagine that that gnome punk kick. <laughs> I would never do it. I'm just saying. In my head is a little animation of a dwarf punk kicking a child. <laughs> Just helping me off the ledge. <laughs> Go. Weird sound. There's the bird. Nice jump a kick. Wait, does his eyeball move? I think it moves in the. Wait, we are in the arcade version. No, it doesn't move at all. No, it does move. <laughs> it did. Okay. Yeah, it did move. Oh, it did. All a mulligan. Bird has dandruff. <laughs> Gnome <laughs> kicking. Well, you can do a charge headbutt with the dragon. Yeah. 
No shit. You usually have to do it because you can't let the other characters get no a run shit. on you. Uh oh. Is that a boss? There's two of them. What are we, 1-3, one, 1-4, one, something like that. What's the score right now? 1-4? One, 3-1, one, one, one. right? 3-1, yeah. Hey, Vankmans! Thanks for the raid. Hey, uh... Hey, yeah, Sparky, I heard what happened about your computer, that... Oh, those weren't bosses at all. Sorry to hear about that. Oh, they weren't? <laughs> no, they are mini-bosses. Oh, we get a lot of potions, though. Okay, this guy's clearly a boss. Should we make him two points just to kind of give you a shot to even it up here? Just the dead no, guy, not the so boss. You sure you don't want a handicap? You don't want a training wheels? A little baby no, help? But I want to use my magic. Soften want... him up. Somebody... Oh. oh, yeah, it was Jane. How you doing, Jane? I assume Sparky is there, too. But uh, how did your stream go, Jane? Somebody shout out Bankman's. Somebody, I'm sure there's a mod around here. Can you shout him out, saying. We're uh, we're doing our challenge that we usually do on every episode. We're playing some golden axe. The the goldenest axes you've ever seen. There's literally a golden axe right there, Gilius. I'm holding, holding it. One. He's holding one. There we go. So how's your house flipping going? Go, Jane. I I my English is broken, but everyone else is. Is also broken today. Oh, I need coins. Stay over there. Yum. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like she's saying yum. I'm gonna say that was me. Yeah. I got there late. Well, actually, it's himself. That might I don't be think the that final we can boss, take credit. Though. I don't think we can take credit for the his suicide. Jane you know? built a great house in Death by Daylight. Nice. Well, we're gonna say that's 3 2. I think and... that was Death by, by Folly. I don't really think you killed him. And... I think he had a, like a buttery grip. I think he had a buttery grip on that axe. And just kind of whoop, you know, out of his hand. Hey, that's a great yeah. axe. That's a great axe right there. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is where it turns out a family ushered uh, Death Adder into reality. And now they're going to. Now it's like Lawn I really Lawn thought Man. Golden X2 was going to take, was going to be like in the streets of New York. I don't know why they didn't do that. Would have been All awesome. the characters are in there, too. Uh, well, it looks like it was 3 2, so. Oh, the famous video game Doi Doi. The Doi Doi. <laughs> what, Irov? What? I wonder what that's a reference to. Pakari Sweat Toshi. Oh, that's funny because it's uh, Pakari Sweat the drink, is what they're referencing there. It's a kind of mock Pakari ad. Aga. Presented for you by Sega. See you next game. Well, there is no more games tonight because I freaking lost. <laughs> oh, there is a score? Oh, you won anyway. Time to take off your shirt, pour a nice fat glass of milk, and then just scream into the wall by, your, by yourself. That's what I suggest. I recommend that for your mental health. Oh, wait, who got the higher grade? I didn't even look. It was you. Well, 41. Oh, by 1.5%. Oh, hold on. And now I need to type in this. We did Golden Axe, and. Goal was most boss kills. Winner was. A... Right. All the skill. Nothing but skill. Lining and timing up those, uh, those final kill shots. I was practicing that practicing it all week. So now we're two two. So it's even now. So who will win at the uh the best of five? You'll have to see next month.
But <laughs> I kind of want to talk about next month because we kind of had an idea for what we're what we're gonna be doing. What were you thinking? So, uh, originally, you know, we're gonna do it on the second week, but the second week is Super Bowl week, Super Bowl weekend. So, should uh, we do like a, a Super had, Bowl kind of retrospective? You had the idea of doing like a Super Bowl themed game. Let's we should do week. Super Bowl themed games, like. And then just play, do like one game on Tecmo, another game on, I don't know, Talking John Elway or something. And we just do one, you know, just do one game in each game for as long as that fills up the slot. Yeah, it should, uh, we could do that. You Wait, and then we can do them playing. in chronological order. You had the idea of doing Mutant League or something like that. Yeah, we, well, my favorite football game is probably uh, Pigskin AD. Which is, it's the same guys, basically, that did uh, Arch Rivals and stuff like that. But um, Pigskin AD is amazing. We should play that. Uh, obviously, Tecmo Super Bowl, the arcade one with the widescreen. That one's sick. And then um, console-wise, I mean, w what's the go-to there? And 92, you like, you like Mutant Madden. League. I know you like Mutant, yeah, League. Mutant League. Yeah, Mutant League is good. We could do a game in Mutant League. That one's dope. And then that, uh, and that. Not sure. Maybe Madden '95 is the one that a lot of people like. Yeah, that may be like the quintessential. And then uh, we can pick out which ones we don't practice and which ones we can't are allowed to practice or whatever. Just as long that as way. I ain't playing John Hallway quarterback on NES. <laughs> oh, no. It's bad. It is so bad. Um, so, yeah, we might do that and have to delay composite channel to uh, third week, or we could just do no Super Bowl thing, but. Yeah, the, I mean, if you guys are interested in that Super Bowl uh, stream, then we'll do that. And have are you big into the? Do you like the Super Bowl? Do you watch the Super Bowl? Not fully, no. Yeah, I hate football as a sport. I used to love it as a kid, and then I grew to hate it. But in that time, um, yeah, we can we can just play during the Super Bowl. I don't know. Is that a bad? People might be a little is, busy though. Is there? A graphic overlap there <laughs> i don't know well isn't it on sunday right oh i see what you're saying yeah yeah it would be on sunday so yeah, yeah so saturday's different probably day, best. So. yeah so yeah we'll just do it the day before like we always do on saturday so that's uh and you're not a sports person yeah there's a ton of football games also saying uh so yeah that's it that was uh that is our uh Fourth episode. Really? I think I can't. Yeah, this one's a little shorter. We probably could have squoze in like an arcade run in Ninja Spirit, but I don't know. Maybe that's too redundant. I don't or too have, hard. I don't have it. With, for oh, you don't? Thing. No, I don't have one. I don't have a ROM of it. I mean, I could download it real quick. No, no, it's all right. We're good. I think. We will. Uh... Yeah, we'll go say go check way. out the uh, go check out the the uh, arcade ROM of Ninja Spirit if you want more of that game. And other than that, I think this was a we had a fun episode tonight. Yeah, tons of fun. Bad, bad, badly shaped logo. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys. I, I like that we're not picking like masochistically brutal games just for the sake of it <laughs> to no, watch not, me we're not picking squirm and the forever man punching my fists into the table yeah Never, Chicago. <laughs> Chicago the forever man or something like that That's, i wouldn't even beat that game Ugh. i've tried to like tackle that i read like a fact and like i tried to handle that game and i was just like this is not fun like this is not like yeah it's uh kadash was more fun <laughs> and Shikan the Forever Man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I still want to play that one. Um, not Shikan, Kadash, but I'd rather play that. Yeah, the, play the arcade the version Man. is cool on Kadash, but it, it's like a timed thing. It was a really weird idea. It was like a pay to play for a period of time kind of game. And passwords did work so you could continue at the arcade. It was really unique for what it was trying to do. I don't think it pulled it off that well, though. Yeah, it seems like they're liking the football idea chat, so...
Oh, NFL Blitz. I forgot NFL about that. NFL Blitz, yeah, that's right. That's an essential one. And Grave is 1,000% behind me saying that John Elway's quarterback can go to hell, and it really can. <laughs> go Dude, play Tech. Was... When you have Tecmo Super Bowl on a system, uh, there, there, I there totally no got suckered by John Elway. Game. I think my mom was a John Elway fan, and so we ended up buying the John Elway game, and that was my football game, and I was stuck with it. So I spent a whole summer that was my football game. And it was, oh, I figured it out, but it was not fun to get there. I'd rather play Solomon's Key. No, everybody would rather play Tecmo Bowl. Tecmo Bowl is like, it set a standard that wasn't beat until Madden, well, I feel like. Well, think about it. You had Solomon's Key, right? Wasn't that, would you rather play that or would you rather play John Elway's quarterback out of the games that you had? Oh. Uh, no, you didn't like I mean, Solomon's, Solomon's Key had already tortured me, so I was already on to Elway. But if I received them both at the same time, probably Elway, just because I was that much into football when I was a kid. Like, I thought it was such a cool, cool sport. Yeah, and then I'm, you learn about steroids, and steroids no, ruins everything. He didn't have Dark Man as a kid. <laughs> I don't think anybody did. Besides, like, no, I rented Dark. Slip. I played Dark Man. I didn't have it. I rented it though. I believe we beat it. That game's weird because it's really thick, like chunky icons and pickups and power ups and stuff. Really, crap. it's a really weird. Really crap, yeah, no, it's like it the Robocop too. Oh my there's god, a, those okay. weird data esports. Robocop too. I made well, it was the Ocean who did those, and I made, yes, that's uh, right. I made I made Foxy play Robocop too one time. But what was like? Oh, what was up with Ocean's aesthetic approach to like Fisher Price power up icons and stuff? They were, they all looked chunky like kids' toys. It was really weird. Their design aesthetic. Well, they made like really cheap looking movie games like Hook and stuff like that. And uh, one that uh, I'm not gonna mention because I always mention it. I won't. I won't bring it up. <laughs> I'm sure you already know what it is. I don't need to mention yeah. that game in every single freaking stream oh man yeah it rhymes with tony hawk <laughs> oh, oh no it's not that one. Oh, it's not hudson hawk okay no it's not that one that was an ocean game though i actually do like hudson hawk there's another one though uh um, do you have a do you have a bromance for um what's his name in hudson hawk bruce willis what do you have a bromance for uh bruce willis no do you think he's cool and badass or do you think he's absurd and weird uh, now, uh, yeah, he is because he he's in like a hundred movies or something like that. But he he retired. Right, but at but at your age, you never went through like moonlighting Bruce Will like cool vibe Bruce Willis before yeah. he got weird. So like you never saw the 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 gradient into bizarre kooky old guy that he is now. Well, bizarre grumpy kooky old guy. But yeah, he used to be like the cool smooth guy when his hair was on. Yeah, Sand uh, San mentioned the game in the hill. chat. We're not, we're not, I'm not going to mention it. I'm going to try and get it. <laughs> out. Yeah, no. No. He, outed, he outed you for your bromance for Cool World. Yes. Fuck, no, you mentioned it. <laughs> you weren't sp Actually, last stream I didn't mention it. So I, I, I guess I can go through a stream that game. Yeah, man. Brad uh, Pitt and Pompadours. Yeah, that movie sucks, though. Shit, that's not with a friend. That's ass. Uh, yeah, uh, so that's basically all, unless you want to give a little closing speech. Um, I beat you. I beat you fair and square. I feel good about it inside and out. And I have no apologies for it. Oh, that's that's great. Well, we still haven't beaten <laughs> us. We still haven't gotten to our best of uh, our best of five. Gonna be well, we can month. get a lot of we, we can. Yeah, and we can get a lot of – we can do an internal count on whoever wins the most football games wins that point for that Oh, Ooh, episode. actually, yeah, that makes sense. And then the next episode, uh, the, the losing person has to play Chicago. No, maybe, maybe, not, maybe not that one. Or the losing player has to play Kasumi Ninja on Jaguar, which oh, probably doesn't even run right on my computer. Right. Oh, I have a guitar pedal called the Golden Axe. Oh, yeah, yeah, you showed me that, uh, Slippy. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome, yeah. I love those boutique guitar pedals. I mean, that alone is reason for me to go to a guitar store, is just to look at the art design on the on the boutique pedals. It's so nuts. All the rad stuff. Yeah, I know someone who had, like, a Blanca shirt from a band. Oh, that's right. had, rad. like, a Blanca shirt playing a trumpet, and that's... I had to have that, so... 
yeah, that's uh, that's it for the show. Uh, thanks for tuning in, all you guys, as usual. Yeah, everybody, thanks for stopping in. I hope you, you had fun watching us uh, uh, flap our jaws and wings trying to figure this out. <laughs> and uh, I hope you guys look forward to February, because we'll either be doing the uh, the Super Bowl thing, or we'll be doing the Composite Channel, either on week two or week three, so you might have two streams with us. Month. So thanks for tuning everybody. Hold on, let me read this. If okay, if Loopy said if you play, check out the company Birch Audio on Instagram. Okay. A little shout out for them. I don't I don't know what they do. But you might like it. Uh but yeah, thanks for tuning in everybody and I will see you guys later. See ya. Oh, bye. I thought I did the whole speech thing. <laughs>